Hi everyone, Phil from Ember Prototypes here. I just wanted to make a short video showing a couple of different sample enclosures that we're getting outsourced. Um, some of you know we make this camera assisted XY calibration tool for dual extrusion IDEX and tool changing printers. Uh, we actually 3D print these enclosures in-house on our Formlabs machines, which has been great and amazing. And the, the quality and the surface finish and the texture has been great. This is actually printed in ESD resin. As interest has kind of grown and we've had to make more and more of these products, it's becoming less desirable for us to continue 3D printing these in-house. It's really cool to say that we do, and it's pretty amazing that we can, but the amount of labor that goes behind, you know, removing supports, cleaning dirt, cleaning resin off of the bill plate, uh, you know, like recycling the IPA that we use to wash the parts, it ends up taking quite a bit of time and labor. So we're looking at outsourcing some parts. Now, the nice thing is that these parts are small, so it won't be too expensive. Um, and there's a couple of specific technologies that we're looking at, such as MJF, SLS, and then SLA 3D printing. Yeah, so we ordered some sample parts from JLC PCB. They actually have some really great pricing for a bunch of different 3D printing technologies, especially the three that I had just mentioned. So we have PA12, with this is MJF, we have 3201, I guess it's just the part number for the material, uh, nylon, which is SLS. And then we have black resin, which is SLA. So this is MJF. So it's got somewhat of a textured finish. It actually looks quite nice. And the text actually showed up, which is quite surprising because if you look at some design guides, uh, they ask for specific depth, specific width, and the text on our product was definitely not uh, following those guidelines because we had been SLA printing them, but this turned out pretty good. So that was MJF. This is SLS. So a bit grainier in surface finish, which is kind of what we expected. Uh, it's not as black as MJF. The black is kind of deeper on MJF. And then just plain black SLA, which is kind of funny because this looks more gray than black, but yeah, obviously a different color, but also different texture compared to the SLA parts that we currently are doing in-house. Yeah, so in terms of cost differences, I think MJF here was the most expensive, but all of these are very affordable. Just thought that this comparison might come in handy with some, for somebody else. I think for us, our decision is, do we keep 3 printing this guy in-house? Do we move to SLA or do we go to MGF? We have some decisions to make. So again, this is the bottom one is SLS. This one is MGF. The top one is black SLA with JLC PCB. We decided that if we could get the logo working nicely with MJF, that would be the ideal scenario. The SLS enclosures were too grainy and the SLA enclosures obviously just have poor impact resistance. Um, we did some drop tests, we kind of threw them against the wall in very extreme fashion and the SLA parts would explode as you would expect. So we want something a bit more resilient and robust for shipping and drops and stuff. Yeah, so we ordered some more parts played around with some different scales and depths of the logo. So on the left here, you can see this is our SLA, uh, our in-house SLA printed part. This one 
is with MJF, and the way we improved the the visibility of the logo was basically to increase the depth of it. We we did increase the overall size of the logo a little bit as well. We scaled it by maybe five or ten percent. So probably negligible in terms of X Y scaling, but the depth seemed to really make a big difference. Like I said earlier, it still doesn't look as great as the SLA printed parts, but look they look quite nice and they are definitely going to be much more impact resistant. I hope that this video is a bit educational and maybe helps somebody else who's making a similar decision as us in terms of what material to use, how do we specify the right material for maybe a low volume or medium volume manufacturing run of their own product and uh, having a good comparison and being able to see actual real life parts next to each other. Yeah, thanks for watching.